Hello everyone, very good evening. Welcome to Olive Board. My name is Varsha Dhiman and in this particular session we are going to cover the basic animal husbandry statistics 2020. Right. So this particular session is very, very important for all those aspirants who are going to appear for the NABAD grade A examination this year. So let's talk about all these important data related to the animal husbandry portion. Okay. So before going ahead, aspirants, you can have the application of Olive Board in your mobile phone so that you can get the PDFs of YouTube classes as well as you will be able to cover or complete all your syllabus with us. And this is your rapid revision batch available on the application for you guys. With the help of this rapid revision batch, you can do the revision for your exam with us. Okay. Now let's start about our discussion. Let's talk about it. Like what we are going to cover under this uh, basic animal husbandry statistics 2025. Okay. So this particular data is released recently on 26th of November. This is important. Like this is a very important in the latest data that you have to cover before your exam. And this report, this statistic data is released by Honorable Minister of State, Ministries of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying and Panchayati Raj, Professor S.P. Singh Bhagel. Okay. And it was released on the occasion of National Milk Day on 26th of November 2025, where at Shushma Swaraj Bhavan, New Delhi. Right? And this data is particularly the data of Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairy. Okay. Now moving ahead. So during the occasion when this particular data was released, these delegates were also present uh, at the same time. So they are Honorable Minister of State, Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying and Minority Affairs, Sri George Kurian. Along with him, Sri Naresh Pal Gangwar, who is a Secretary of Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairying. Please know the names of these personalities as well. Okay. So under this statistics, what kind of informations will be provided to you? Like what is this statistics is about? So actually, it is a very important publication document. Under this, the comprehensive data on the livestock and dairy sector trends are provided to you. Okay, and it is based on like if we talk about like uh, it is covering the data from 1st of March 2024 till 29th of Feb 2025. And it is released recently in the month of November 2025. So this report is important. And uh, the survey that was conducted to obtain the data, the name of the survey was Integrated Sample Survey, right? And this survey, uh, unique in the country, generates crucial data on the production estimates of major livestock products. So what are the major livestock products? The products that we obtain from our livestock, okay, they are the milk, egg, meat and wool, okay? And this data will help us in... <clears throat> research and policy formulation in the livestock sector, right? Now, moving ahead, this data, uh, under this statistics, we will have the state-wise estimations of productions and per capita availability of these major livestock products. And it will also tell us about the estimated number of animals involved in milk production, poultry, egg laying birds, animals slaughtered and ship shorn. And it will also present valuable data on veterinary, like how many veterinary hospitals are there, polyclinics, because we need to go for that uh, semen sort, it's like sex sorted semen artificial insemination practices. So for all, all these things, we need the data related to the veterinary hospitals, polyclinic gaushalas, polyclinics gaushalas, state farms, and other infrastructure details. Okay, so all these data are included or calculated with the help of this survey. Now moving ahead, so this survey, uh, this survey and all this data, it form a robust statistical framework and this statistical framework will support the data-driven decision-making. It will facilitate the performance evaluation of government initiatives and it will enable the international reporting and comparison ultimately aiding in the sustainable growth and productivity enhancement of the livestock sector. Now moving ahead, let's talk about the details mentioned under this statistics. Okay, so we are moving ahead for the details. Let's talk about the details. 
so uh, we are going to talk about the details related to the milk egg meat and wool production for the year 2024-25 okay and uh, as i mentioned you it is uh, having the results of the integrated sample survey and they are conducted all across the country in three seasons so it was conducted in the summer season from March to June, then rainy season from July to October, and in winter season from November to February. So starting from the month of March 2024, this survey collected the data till Fab 2025. Okay, and then we come ahead with this statistics, which is very important. Okay. And it is having all the data related to the milk production, meat production, egg production, and the wool production in the country. So we are starting with the milk production data. Okay. So as per this survey report, India is number one in milk production. Okay. And if we talk about this year total milk production, okay. So it is estimated as 247.87 million tons. 247.87 million tons and last year the, the data was 239.30 million tons. So what we had observed an increase of 3.58%. Okay. Now, so on that basis we can say last year like in the year 2014-15 Per capita, the milk that is available per capita in a day was 319 gram. And now the milk that is available per capita uh, for a day is 485 grams per day. Okay. And if we talk about the top five milk producing state, so first number is holded by UP, then Rajasthan, then Madhya Pradesh, and then Gujarat, and then the Maharashtra. Okay. So that's how the states has uh, the different milk production, okay? And the state which is having the highest milk production is UP, which is contributing 15.66%. Okay, now moving ahead, if we talk about the total, so together contribute, so in this manner, these five states are contributing 54.09% of total milk production in the country. Okay, and if we talk about the milk production from exotic or cross breed cattle, it has increased by 4.97%, and by indigenous or non descript cattle, it has increased by 3.51%. Okay, and similarly, if we talk about the buffaloes, it has increased by 2.42% as compared to the last year's data. And you can see this graph. So, in the year 2014 15, the milk that was available per capita was 319 gram per day. And in the year 2024-25, the milk availability is 485 grams per day, okay, per person. And similarly, you can see this data, it is 247.9 million tons. Moving ahead, related to the egg production. So, India is the second largest in egg production in the world, okay. And if we talk about the values, so our total egg production in the year 2024-25 was 149.11 billion numbers. Okay, and we observe that there is a growth of 4.44%. The production has increased annually by 3.18% during 2023-24. Okay, so in the year for the year 2023-24. The production was increasing by a rate of 3.18 percent whereas this year we observed a growth of 4.44 percent and on that basis in the year 2014-15 per capita the number of eggs available in a year was 62 and now we are having 106 eggs available per annum in the year 2024 20 Okay, and if you talk about the major contribution by the different states, so it is majorly contributed by Andhra Pradesh, then Tamil Nadu, then Telangana, then West Bengal, and then Karnataka. Okay, so Andhra Pradesh have maximum ag production of 
थ्री सेवन परसेंट मूविंग अहेड सो यू कैन सी दिस फाइव स्टेट आर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग सिक्सटी फोर पॉइंट थ्री सेवन परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल एग प्रोडक्शन ओके एंड इफ यू लुक एट द कमर्शियली पोल्ट्री दैट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट नाइन एट बिलियन एग्स accounting for 84.49 percent of the national outputs right and backyard poultry on the other hand produces 23.13 billion and it is representing 15.51 percent of the total production so in this manner commercial poultry has a high contribution and the backyard poultry have a uh, less contribution here okay now moving on the data moving on the graph you can see so uh, as per this graph 106 eggs are available per person in a year and if we talk about its production it is 149.11 number of eggs okay uh, 149.11 billion eggs are available in the year 2024 20 okay now moving ahead related to the meat production so in the meat production the different areas that contributed here yeah so let's talk about its data so uh, in the meat production india's rank is fourth in the world right and if we talk about the total meat production uh, that is estimated as 10.50 million tons during the year 2024-25 whereas which has registered a growth of 2.46% right so it has increased and the total meat production from poultry is 5.18 million tons so we can say that in the overall amount of meat production 50% is coming from the poultry farming okay 50% is coming from the poultry farming and the top states that are contributing in the meat production so first position is holded by west bengal then by up then by maharashtra then by andhra pradesh and then telangana okay so the top meat producing state is west bengal total percent contribution is 12.46% right and if we talk about this five meat producing states so in total they are contributing 57.55% you can see this graph it is mentioned here right you can see it is 7.50 per capita this 7.5 kg of meat is available per capita in a year and if you talk about the million tons like the value it is 10.50 million tons of meat production was observed in the year 2024 25 now moving ahead if we talk about the wool production so total wool production in the country is estimated as 34.57 million kg during the year 2024-25 right and it shows a registered notable increase growth of 2.63% over last year and if we talk about the states that are contributing in the total wool production so on the first number it is rajasthan with a share of 47.85% then jammu kashmir 22.88% gujarat 6.22% maharashtra 4.75% and himachal pradesh 4.30% so together these states account for substantial 85.98% of the nation's total wool output highlighting their significant role in india's wool industry okay so that's all about the important data published under this statistics so if you like this particular session please share this session among your friends as well and this is a rapid revision batch available on the application of olibord be the part of this rapid revision batch and start the preparations with us and if you have any doubt or any query you can connect with us you can drop your uh, doubts and queries in the comment box and you can connect with me on my telegram that is varsha thima okay so here i am ending the session for now we'll meet in the next class bye bye and all the very best